Hello everyone, it is mail day again. I'm actually playing catch up on mail from July. I'm so sorry. You know, I received so much mail and it's so appreciated that sometimes some of the boxes get put to the back of the pile or under the pile, but anyway, I'm here now opening mail. So a thank you to all who have sent mail, as I always say. It is much appreciated and I hope that you all enjoy seeing what all you lovely viewers send me as much as I enjoy opening them. So let's get right into it. Oh, we don't want any falling. The first package is from Alice in Sandusky, Ohio. So hello, Alice. Apologies for getting to this a little bit late. Oh, I already see some stuff. <laughs> Miss Moose. Renee, I hope you enjoy the things I've sent you. Most I've picked up at flea markets and auctions through the years. I always enjoy your videos. Keep up the good work. Sincerely, Alice. I like your name, Alice. <laughs> I should have had another table or chairs to put the items in. I did not think ahead. I'll leave that up there. This cute needle craft home arts magazine. Ooh, even the back, like he strikes cigarettes. January 1935. I come across these occasionally, and they're great for the advertisements, the articles, etching with a needle, crocheting. I'm not very good at that. Pick your own club. Yeah, these older magazines, I mean, this was for, you know, the people that did crafting, such as crocheting, needlework, making their own clothes. Look how pretty. I love these type of items. Ten cents. What is this? Oh my goodness. This is a great way to package postcards. I never even thought of that. That's brilliant. <laughs> oh my goodness. A whole stack. Look at this nice one. A mailing card. Orville E. Spear, 1914. What a name. It's a great picture of a little cow. Oh my goodness. Look at all these. Easter, whole bunch of Easter, Christmas. Oh, look at this nice Thanksgiving one on the back. Dear Gertie, that'd be a great name for a pet. Just a line to let you know I have not forgotten you entirely. Hope you are enjoying life. That is just what I'm trying to do. Yours truly, Edith. Rochester, New York, 1911. Oh, I like that. That <laughs> three weeks, what? You can see. Never kiss a girl on the impulse. Kiss her on the mouth. <laughs> I'm living the simple life. Things are quiet here and you know to live a simple life, Charlie. How fun. To my Valentine. Oh my goodness, this is gonna take me a long time to look through all of these. More cute. Oh, look at this Easter one. <gasps> this is great. Can you see that? Look how great that is. Hello, how are you? All over there. We are all well over here. How is the baby? I wish. You two, a happy Easter greetings. April 14th, 4 p.m. Calio, Ohio. Oh my goodness. What in the world? There's so many. Oh! This is so neat. I actually have this same postcard but it was from my grandfather to his parents when he was in the Navy. So let's see what the battle, the battle, the back of this says. My dear Leah, sorry, but I'm too busy to write a letter tonight. 
Tomorrow morning we go for shots again. Nice, huh? New job started off in two foot of snow. Watch for and ask Mo Samsel for any new registration on gas, sugar, etc. Lots of love, Johnny. U.S. Naval Reserve Training Station, Great Lakes, Illinois. That's so cool to see this postcard, but in a whole different, you know, setting, I guess you could say. Love it. The Circle Theater. Thank you, Alice. I'm going to have to sort through these more on my own time. But what treasures. And I love this storage. Never even thought to do that, but it's perfect. We can put that down here. We have a nice do oh grumpy. Well, I was gonna say dopey. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs for the video release. I should wear that to work. <laughs> oh, the belonging book. That sounds like that might make me cry. Oh, I see something else in there. The belonging book. A blackboard belongs, oh, it won't make me cry. A blackboard belongs in a schoolroom and a lesson to get in your head. With a teacher who's wise and a desk just your size and an apple all rosy and red. I bet you it says about a dog belonging to a boy. You belong in a family as happy as can be and the nicest thing in the world, I think, is belonging. Now, don't you agree? Lazy Fox and the Red Hen, Kmart. Binky the bear, <laughs> Prince, Tater, Tatters, I was going to say Taters, Tatters the puppy, oh look at this little dog, so fun, so cute, you have a good eye for things, and good flea markets, oh, reindeer, look how cute, this one's Rudolph, you can never go wrong with some reindeer. I actually just purchased a whole bunch from a local um, a rummage sale. So I might have to figure out something to do with them. And here's another guy. Oh, he's He had some glitter and sparkles on him. You could see. And then there's something in here. <sighs> oh, look how awesome these are. Oh my gosh. I am going to have to do a video now on all of my vintage strongman weightlifting items. Um, for those that might be new to the channel, I really enjoy two pounds collecting vintage weightlifting and strongman things. I don't have a huge collection. I, I pick up pieces here and there, but what I do have, I really enjoy. I just love the aesthetic of it you know, the weightlifting brochures and, and all the kooky kind of exercises that they did back then, but how cool. It'd be funny if I brought these to my gym. That'd be neat for Halloween if I dressed up in like the, like the vintage strongman kind of outfit. Of course, I'd have to wear a shirt and not just the jumper thing, but anyway, and like worked out with these. <laughs> my gym probably will let me do it. I've been going there for a pretty long time, so... I think they will get a kick out of that. Thank you so much, Alice, for everything. What a good eye you have. I can't wait to look through more of the postcards. It is all appreciated so much. Next, we have Kathy in Durham, North Carolina. Again, my apologies for getting to this late. Renee, you can find a bit of the history of this coat in the On Your Pam video. I forgot to add one other feature. Not only did this coat appear unworn, the label was sewn upside down, possibly a widow's coat. Hmm. Enjoy your channel, Kathy. Well, thank you, Kathy. And she has a nice dried leaf on her card. The Bon Marche, Seattle Northgate. Oh my goodness. Oh. 
I think I have a coat for winter. Look how nice this is. If you can see, it's nice and long with a great liner. Oh, and look at the sleeves too. It has the kind where it like kind of cinches around your wrist. Look at these buttons. These are huge. This is definitely, this would be a great coat for work. Let's see, if I stand up, I'm probably gonna come out of the, oh, shot of the camera, so we'll just finagle it this way. Oh yeah, how does it look? Let me get, I can see from my camera over here. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kathy. I love it. This will be great for winter. And I would definitely wear this jacket to work. It's so nice and it fits. Look at that nice brooch too. Thank you so much, Kathy. It is really appreciated. You have a great eye as well. You just don't make these things like they used to. Nice and warm, elegant, you know, just, it looks good. You know, now clothing is not, not I don't know, it's just different. That's why I do love the vintage style. Look at these buttons, how can you go wrong? Thank you, Kathy. I will show you all the label. Seattle Northgate. You can see, I think you'll be able to see that. Look how lovely the inside is. And it was a ladies garment workers union. Yep, they sure made good clothes. Thank you so much again, Kathy. I'm looking forward to wearing this in the chilly weather that we are going to experience soon. And this is from I want to say Dawn, Denise, Dolores in Beverly Hills, Florida. I don't know if you sent me another package because I remember Beverly Hills, Florida. So, sorry if I know your name is Dawn, Dolores, Denise. I hope it is. Oh, look at all these. Look at all these. So, great American Geographical Society, New Jersey, Know Your America program. New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Colorado, Salt Lake City, Wisconsin, and Minnesota, Alaska. Never been to Alaska. Arkansas and Missouri. These are great. What's oh a deer at school. I want that to happen. <laughs> These are really really good for research purposes. And also, I really enjoy the layout. Let's see what the New Jersey one has. Uh, so let's see what Pennsylvania has. Grand Canyon of the East, Delaware, Amish Farmstead, Antique Hunting and New Hope, still popular today. Independence Hall, Philadelphia. It's always fun to go walk around there. 1961. So some things have changed and some things haven't. Tobacco curing barn. I wonder where that is. Gettysburg. I finally got out to Gettysburg a few years ago. I need to go back. Really cool. These are great. And then we have a whole bunch of snapshots. Oh my goodness. Again, I'm going to have to go through these. Gertie, hey, a Gertie again. Uh, it doesn't have a date. I don't want to say what it, it just has some random numbers on the back. This looks like it would be a Halloween party. We have some cowboys and cowgirls. Here's another one. Oh, I wish I had that. 
that um, uniform. That's pretty cool. Oh, let's get it right, Renee. Come on now. Those are great. Look at this great one. Oh, it looks like flapper, flapper error because of some of their headbands that they're wearing. Oh my gosh. I'll figure this camera out at some point. Which way? This way? There we go. Nope. Ah, well, we lost it. <laughs> oh gosh. There's so many great ones. Oh, here's the military one. Can you see that one? It's fine. See if I can find. Oh, I love these. The photo booth snapshots, which photo booths now are coming back in. People can rent them for parties. They were always popular on the boardwalk, though, which I loved. I would always get my photo in them. See if we can find one more. Oh, I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think that's a doll. I, I hope it is. 1929. It looks like two girls are holding their baby doll. Can you see? We'll end on that one. But I will have fun going through the rest of these. So thank you, Beverly Hills, Florida. Dolores, Denise, Dawn. Dorothy, one of those, hopefully. Thank you so much. Now I have one last package, and this is from Larry out in San Francisco. He's a frequent commenter of the channel and has um, sent other packages before, so thank you. Hi, Renee. Here goes another box of goodies. Hope you will enjoy these as I have. Best Larry. Keep up your good work. Always enjoy your productions. Your West Coast YouTube buddy. Yes, Larry's out on the West Coast. Always interesting again to see what is different in regards to antiques, vintage items out on the West Coast versus here on the East Coast. You know, that is something that I've definitely learned since doing this channel. So I'm appreciative of that. Oh boy. Oh my goodness, Larry. I caramba, as they say, as, as Bart says. Of course, my scissors over there. We're just gonna do a rip, a ripper, a rip see. I don't even know. It's late. <laughs> it is late and I have work tomorrow. Road guide, the last in Volcano Park. Where is that? As a citizen of the United States, it belongs to you, the park. Hmm. Is that in Colorado? Where is it? State Route 2989. I can't even can't even talk. If I ever go there, look at this. Just for your records. Oh my gosh, financial records, look at it. They took the time to even make cute drawings inside. Family records, household inventory, summary. So cool. Purdue, 1942, leather. Well, this is nice. Service for the Armed Forces, April, May, June, 1943. It has all Bible lessons. What to do when the test comes. Going back to civilian life. Army, Navy, Marine Corps insignia. This could actually help me a lot. Because whenever you're at a flea market or an auction and you come across boxes, you know, box lots that have so many different patches or, or buttons, pins. It is for me, because I don't study this and I don't know it, it is hard. I recognize it's military, but you know, what each one represents. So this could come in really handy. Look at that cat, cat one, I think it's a cat. Oh, Buffalo, 92nd Division. Be on the lookout for that. There's one with a pilgrim, interesting. Sound, 
Don't forget to write stationery kit. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. 1943. There's a time for everything. Hint, hint, like, you know, right when you're supposed to. Oh my goodness. It even comes with the paper. That is so cool. This would be good for um, like 4th of July to put out then. That is really nice. Hearst and Simeon. Oh my goodness. The Hearst Castle. World of Color series. That is colorful in there. And there's another one. Oh my goodness, Larry. Piano World. <laughs> Radio World. Look at that. It's a pumpkin that crickets and a ladybug turns a radio. That is so neat. You know, radios, they still go. Radio parts, the tubes, just the radio cases, you know, the, the structures, the innards, they go for a lot of money at estate sales or even auctions because people, you know, they're still, radios still hold a place in the American heart. And there's still so many people out there that use radio. Look at these great... Make $100 weekly, sell radio. All these great advertisements. Just the front cover alone is so neat. What a neat idea. This would be good to frame and like put out for Halloween. I really like that image. Newsweek Magazine, 19, 1962, President Kennedy. Kennedy and his critics. You know, JFK. My grandparents, they always, my grandfather had a lot of JFK. There's a clan. Um, memorabilia. You know, the ashtrays, the rug, the, the bust you would hang on the wall. He was, you know, for that time. People loved him. And then, you know, his assassination really took a toll on people and the country. I see a moose. A bit of this and that. Some San Fran ephemera. I did not get to San Francisco, unfortunately, when I was in California. My schedule just didn't allow it. There's a moose. Gettysburg. Oh, what's this? The Hemisphere. 1968, a whole bunch of postcards, cactus. I have to look through these a bit more later, Larry. Cypress Lawn Cemetery. I've heard so much about this place. A sparkle in every spoonful, Campbell's, a whole bunch of different ads. Look at this guy. Unknown soldier with pocket watch, 1860s. If you could find that at a flea market, that'd be a great find. More radio news. A whole bunch, a whole bunch of different things. I have to look through them a little bit more off camera. Vintage sheet music. Mm. Remember when I found that sheet music in the garbage? <laughs> All alone. I'm alone because I love you. That's not good. <laughs> Got a great big date with a little bit of girl. Look at her. The smile you miss. That looks like a big eyeball. Oh, look at this one. G.I. Jive. I don't believe you. Some of these are so sad. Look at this silhouette. Wonderful you. She reminds me of Betty Boop. That hair. And they put those pins in there. I wonder if I can get mine to do that if I grew it out a little more. Cynthia's in love. Good old Perry Como. The Lord's Prayer. 
school days when we were a couple of kids. I love that pink. So oh, look at this one, the water bug. Oh my gosh, how cute. I had seen that everyone always would write their name on the front of the sheets. Was that, you know, to, to claim it, to tell your brother or sister, hey, this is mine, like don't touch it. But that seems like it's so, so common. Like why don't you write it on the back or on the inside? I love A more sheet music, Larry, you outdid yourself. Army hit kit of popular songs. Let's see. A whale of a tale. 20,000 leagues under the sea. A whale of a tale to tell you lads. A whale of a tale or two. You know what other Disney movie was great? Darby O'Gill and the Little People. That had Sean Connery in it. That was a good one. Good night, sweetheart. I love his hair. Rudy Valley. I've never seen that 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea sheet music. Slumber Sea Shanties music book. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look how cute. 1910. Little Brown Owl and the Redwood Tree. How nice. Songs of babies, wordies, wordies. The Umbrella Party. I love the illustrations. Babykin's Train Song. This is great. They had such sweet illustrations back then. I just took the time. Oh, Building of the Arch. The Gateway Arch. I have not been down to, out to St. Louis. Um, you know, perhaps for work, if they would send me there. But I would definitely want to go and see it. Look at that. And you would not want me attempting to build anything. My math skills for engineering would not be helpful at all. Downtown St. Louis. The Arch of Steel. Interesting. That would be really neat to see. It was really neat to see um, the Golden Gate Bridge from the airplane as I was flying to um, Northern California. I landed at the Charles Schultz, the Sonoma County Airport. Really small airport, but super easy to navigate. And if you are ever there, make sure <laughs> If you have the earliest flight, there's no need to get there an hour and a half to two hours early because the airport's not open. So just wait. <laughs> but really nice airport. I would definitely fly into that airport again. Well, thank you, Larry, D, and Beverly Hills, Florida, Alice, and Kathy. All, everything that you sent is appreciated. The jacket, the photos, the ephemera. The weights, the vintage weights. Thank you again. I cannot say thank you enough. Thank you all who have stayed this long through the video to watch. Um, I hope that you liked everything that people sent. I hope that it inspired you to get out to the flea market and start your own collections of goodies. You know, save these things from the attics and the basements and bring them into your home and celebrate them again. Give them a second life. So thank you again to everyone who has sent mail. Much appreciated. There will, will be plenty of other mail videos to come. I still have a stack of mail to get through. I just like to give each person's mail, you know, the attention that it deserves and be able to showcase the items that everyone has so graciously packed up with care and have sent to me. So thanks again. Hope you all enjoyed this mail video and you know, keep your eye out for more videos from paper, from paper and moose. It is time for me to get some rest. Tomorrow is another day. So thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and have a great day. See you all next time.